hallelujah in jesus name amen you are welcome to today's word at moment of truth and the word for today is have a strong spirit have a strong spirit we all remember this that you and i are spiritual beings the bible says that we are made of a spirit we have a soul and we live in a body that is what the bible says so he said that that the lord will sanctify our body our uh, the lord will sanctify our spirit our soul and our body according to first thessalonians chapter number five verse 23 so i encourage you to understand this that you are not just a physical being you are a spirit you have a soul and you live in a body your soul comprises your mind which is involved in your thinking your emotions and your 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 will which is experienced or seen when we have desires and want and make decisions here and there so i want you to know this that your real you is not the body which is your house you are living in but rather the real you is your spirit that is living in you and because your real you is your spirit you need to understand Stand that it is very important that everything that is going on in your body, you put it in the right perspective. God have assigned a word to somebody this week. If one, you are a child of God, a Christian, that because of your upbringing, you have gone through a lot of abuses and pain and insult that even as you are now growing up all those things keep coming back to your mind and as they come back to mind they cause a lot of pain in your heart sometimes you regret being born into the family you were born into sometimes you regret growing up in the place that you grew up and you have become accustomed to a lot of pains and worries in life i want you to know that god have a way for you this week then taken a group of people if physically you have been battling with any form of pain any form of disease any form of sickness maybe not a sickness as a but depression and oppression a lot of broken heart and things that are less cast in your spirit man and you feel sometimes like hey my life is running and i do not know what i'm going to become god have a word for you there are some of you who started life very well by the grace of god things were going on until certain people came into your life until certain things happen in your life and as a result of that your spirit have been wounded you are like a wounded soldier you are like a person with a vision and a dream but you've gone through so many things that those visions and dreams have left you 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 cannot dream anymore and when you dream you hear the voice within you telling you that you attempted this it did not work you tried this it did not work and as a result of that your spirit is not free to soar to the greater height god wants to take you maybe you have failed many times even in the things that you prayed and you were very sure god wanted you to do and as a result Result, you are left wounded maybe you started certain relationships the spirit of god even led you to into but yes things went worked in a such way it left you so much pain yes you are forgiven yes you've let go but the scars the pains of those issues are still with you and you are still nursing them and those things have heaped in your spirit today god has a word for you listen to this proverbs chapter number 18 verse 14 the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a wounded spirit who can bear it a wounded spirit who can be so your spirit can be wounded what are the things that can wound you and what shows that your spirit is wounded i want you to know this if your life is full of complaints your life is full of a lot of worries your life is full of a lot of painful memories from the past that are all the time heaping up and 
stealing your time, stealing your joy, stealing your confidence, stealing your boldness. I want to know these things can become things that will, will wound your spirit, things that will frustrate your spirit, things that will weaken in your spirit and as a result why you will not be able to move on the way god wants you to move on but don't worry god has a word for you today in amplified bible the same version the same verse from proverbs chapter number 18 verse 14 from the amplifier say the strong spirit of a man take note the strong spirit of a man Mm, sustains him in a bodily pain or trouble but a weak and broken spirit who can raise up or bear hallelujah so listen what will sustain you in this last days what will sustain you as we hear a lot of things that are causing a lot of troubles and pain for many people maybe financial troubles have become your bodily experience but the bible says that a strong spirit of a man not just any spirit but a strong spirit that is why at the word to you this week no matter where you have been brought up from no matter the ministry failures you've had no matter the revelations and the visions you had that did not work out the way you you prayed and fasted and trusted God that they will wait. Don't give up yet, my dear brother, my dear sister. Don't give up. Don't let anything erase that vision from your spirit. Don't let anything erase that dream from your spirit. Maybe it's a vision God gave you about some business. It's a vision God gave you about, about a ministry. It's a vision God gave you to touch people's life across nations. It's a vision God gave you to expand other people's life academically, spiritually, I mean financially in many ways, in many angles it's a vision God gave you to reach out to married couple, to reach out to single it's a vision God gave you to become a soul winner in a very dynamic way and you look at your life as I'm talking to you right now and it look like things are not working out, you are asking yourself to when will things work out I want you to know, don't let anything that is happening to your body don't let the troubles that you see in your body be Begin to control your destiny and affect your vision. Why? Because you need a strong spirit. And no, if you have a strong spirit, let me tell you, all the storms of life will roll at you, but you will be sustained. You will move on. Take note, the Bible did not say that being able to talk fine, being able to pray well, being able to fast long, the Bible says a strong spirit. You need the strong spirit my sister you need the strong spirit my brother if the marriage is full of challenges you need a strong spirit don't step into complaining don't stop in don't step into becoming a nagging wife and a nagging husband don't step into beginning to use tatashi to control things around you no don't step into lying and deceit and corruption because all the effort that you made in faith and in truth did not yield the fruit don't let anybody deceive you to go give your body before they give you work to do let me tell you something what you are experiencing in your body are signs to us that the one who said that the world is coming to an end told the truth and the world is surely coming to an end someday somehow somewhere it can be today it can be tomorrow but until then you need need a strong spirit in these last days. You need to be stronger than you have been before. You need to be stronger in marriage. You need to be stronger in ministry. You need to be stronger in evangelism. You need to be stronger in prayer. You need to be stronger in the studying of the word. You need a strong spirit. That is what will sustain you. Not what all your friends are saying. Not what all the in-laws are saying. No. They can take you to Juju. Write your name at the tree of witchcraft. You will live, you will survive, you will advance, you will not die. Let me tell you, they can take you to anywhere under the sun. If you have a strong spirit, you will be sustained. Any sickness and disease may attack your body. Oh, I 
as you continue to walk with a strong spirit that sickness will fall off from your body right now as i speak to you you need a strong spirit to walk in divine truths and divine revelations other than that the very things that god has promised you the devil will steal from you you need a strong spirit and take note what is a wounded spirit that is what the amplifier in, in uh, explained for us a wounded spirit is equals to a weak and a broken spirit so you can have a weak and a broken spirit you can have a spirit that is broken your inner man could be broken your inner man could be weakened weakened by complaints you hear weakened by all the news about financial crisis you hear weakened by failed dreams and visions in life weakened by failures in various endeavors that you step into but don't worry you need a strong spirit and things will get back on their feet don't worry you need a strong spirit and that sickness will flee from your body that cancer will fall off in jesus name breast cancer menstrual problems whatever they are named under the sun high blood pressure diabetes i talk to you you need a strong spirit what do you need to make your spirit strong a few things to take note of point number one john chapter 6 chapter 6 verse 63 the bible says that bodily exercise profit a little mm. Mm. but the spirit profit with all and the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life take note he said the spirit profit with all bodily exercise profit a little so you can be doing all the bodily exercise example you can be eating well you can be taking all the drugs that have been prescribed for you you can be applying all the 30 principles of successful business establishment you can go into all the seminars and do everything but let me tell you that beyond all those things you may get a little profit a little profit like establishing a company a little profit like being called a ceo a little profit like being called the founder or and president of social and so they are good things but i want you to know that beyond these things your life can go deeper and higher human beings are acknowledging your achievement but god want to put a stamp on your life a stamp of excellence a stamp of achievement in marriage in friendship in the way you have lived your life as a church member as a church leader as a friend of that friend of that friend as a cousin as a nephew as an auntie as a father as a mother god wants you to be successful in those positions as a sister and as a brother and how do you do this when pain is 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 is, is not in your body left right angles when pain and troubles are, are saturating every step you are taking how do you stand and go through all this he said the spirit prophet with all and what is the spirit talking about the word that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life you need the strong spirit and the strategy number one is go take the word of god and speak it speak it speak it speak it Joel chapter 3 verse 10 he said let the weak says i am strong if you notice the symptoms of weakness in your spirit you can't pray as you ought to pray i mean you are full of complaints you are full of worries there are a lot of things that are stressing you down a lot of depressing situations things are stressing you you are sure i mean choking your mind up with a lot of informations but still things are not coming out the way they ought to come up don't worry the strategy is this you have done all you need to do you need god to step into your situation go grab the word of god take hold of the word it may be the same word you heard over and over again but take it again speak it again speak it again the spirit profit with all a profit in every situation take the word of god which is the spirit that you need to strengthen your spirit and your life will not be the same confess the word speak the word declare it say let the weak 
say, he did not say, let the weak think. Don't think he was strong. Don't think the sickness is gone. Don't think I prayed. Everything will be all right. No, say it. Declare it. If you are weak, say, I'm strong. If you are finding financial situation, say, my finances have been streamlined in Jesus' name. Mm. Speak it. Speak the word. Declare the word. Make the word your confession. And see the glory of the living God in the life of your everything. In Jesus' name. Take note of this other scripture. Mm. From Psalm number 71. Psalm number 71. Verse 16. He said, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. Mm. I will go. In the strength of the Lord God. God wants you to know that he is your strength. Psalm 29 verse 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will give. He's not, he's not a, 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 a chisel God. He's not a God who will not give. The Lord will give. The Lord will give. Go about. Declare. The Lord's will. Is to give me strength. Every sickness has left my body in Jesus' name. It is His will. I am strong. I'm going out. I'm moving out in the power and in the strength of the Holy Spirit. Listen, my brother, my sister. Whatever God wants you to do, there is a time to do it. The end of days is fast approaching. Don't let marriage. Friends, circumstances, where you are living, finances, and anything in this life, weaken your spirit, fill you with complaints. Don't complain with the radio stations. Don't complain with the news. Don't sing their song. Don't talk their talk. Talk the word. Speak the word. Declare the word. Walk in the word. The devil will tell you it is not working. Tell him, yes, but I will still go in the strength of the Lord. The devil will tell you, can't you see? Nothing is changing about your situation. Tell him, oh, my Bible have told me, let the weak say he is strong. So I am strong. I am, I am, I am, I am strong. The Lord gives me strength to do this, to learn, to study, to accomplish great things, to move in the power of the Holy Ghost, to, uh, to evangelize, to bring souls to the kingdom, to do this ministry, to expand this company, to employ more people, to serve in righteousness, do business without corruption, serve my husband, serve my wife, serve my children, be an example to them in every way. Leave a legacy for my children. You are blessed. You are not cursed. Don't think the curse. Think the blessing. I declare that in Jesus' name, you are moving in this week and into the rest of the year with a different and a stronger spirit. Move! In the strength of the Lord. Say this after me. In Jesus name. I will go. Accomplish. Achieve. Excel. In everything. The Lord has anointed me. To do in this life. In his strength. In Jesus name. Amen. This will be a moment of truth. I pray that you are blessed. And I pray that you continue to walk in this testimony. And continue declaring it all around you. That people should not be discouraged and depressed anymore. There is a season to be stronger in spirit. God bless you. Take the word of God. Pray it out. Read the verses again. Meditate on them. Make them your daily bread. And see the glory of God revealed. In your spirit and in your body. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Share your testimony with us. Join this ministry. And let's advance the kingdom of God, blessing many lives in Jesus' name. Amen.